What's going on everyone? I am Phantom and this is a predecessor hero guide. In these guides I will outline every ability, show you common combos, and demonstrate how to play the hero by commentating over some gameplay. If you want to jump to any particular part of the video, check down below for the timestamps. Without further ado, I hope this helps. Gideon the Rift Walker is a mid lane mage with some massive damage potential. If you play him right, you'll crush your enemies under the weight of his cosmic powers. This character focuses on burst damage, which is boosted by magic power, so you'll want to build plenty of it with a bit of mana so you can sustain in the fight. Gideon's passive is called Cosmic Power. When damaging an enemy hero with an ability, your next basic attack is empowered for 4 seconds. On this basic attack, he creates a link between himself and his opponent. While linked, your opponent suffers a 20% slow and takes additional magic damage over a period of 3 seconds. This damage scales with magic power. One important thing to note about Gideon's passive ability is that it actually increases the range of his basic attack. So as you can see here, if I use my Meteor on Steel, my range goes all the way out so it'll hit him from here, and then as it comes uh, on cooldown, the range decreases to my normal reach, and I cannot hit Steel. So it's a great way to actually catch up with your enemies as long as you can get that passive proc. Do keep in mind that this passive ability has a cooldown, so you're going to want to time your engages around it, as it is a fairly long cooldown. Gideon's basic attack is called Portal Blast, and it is a ranged attack that deals physical damage. If you are wondering how far its range is, just look at the blue indicator on the ground in the distance, as with all ranged characters. That is the maximum range of his basic attack. Gideon's alternate ability, bound to right-click, is called Void Breach. When cast, this summons a Comet Projectile that deals magic damage in a line, stopping at max range or upon colliding with an enemy hero or terrain. Enemy targets hit are slowed by 20% for 1.5 seconds. This ability scales with magic power. This ability will pass through enemy minions, dealing damage and slowing them in the process, so do make sure to line it up through minions before hitting the hero. Gideon's primary ability is called Cosmic Rift. When cast, Gideon summons a meteor that falls from the sky. This deals magic damage to all enemies in its small area of impact. This ability scales very well with magic power and will be your main burst damage ability. By default, this is bound to Q. Use this after slowing your enemy to make it easier to hit. Gideon's secondary ability is called Torn Space. Upon casting this ability, Gideon opens a portal and jumps through to the target location. The portal remains open for 5 seconds, allowing all heroes to jump through behind him. Enemy heroes, however, that pass through the portal suffer a 50% slow for 1.5 seconds. This is Gideon's escape tool, and as you will see later, it pairs very well with his ultimate ability. Do keep in mind that using Torn Space, if any heroes that follow through the portal will maintain their direction of motion. So if I throw a portal in the distance, and then hop through it backwards, I'm going to come out the back side. So you're going to want to be careful that uh, if you jump through a Gideon portal, you make sure that you don't fall off a ledge by mistake. Gideon's ultimate ability is Black Hole. Gideon rises a short distance into the air and summons a black hole centered on his position. The black hole pulls enemy targets towards its center and deals significant magic damage over 3.5 seconds. While channeling this ability, it can be interrupted if Gideon is hit with any form of hard crowd control, such as a stun or silence. So be sure to watch for important enemy cooldowns before using this ultimate. The damage from this ultimate scales significantly with magic power. By default, Black Hole is bound to R. You can cancel this ability at any time during the channel duration, but keep in mind, this will still put the ability on cooldown. Gideon's best early game combo will be Void Breach, which is right mouse button, followed by an auto attack to get that slow, and while they're slow, it'll be easier to land your Q, uh, your Cosmic Rift. Alternatively, you can also choose to do your right click, your Q if you're fast enough, and then follow up with the left click. That'll make them slow for a longer duration of time overall, um, but it's a little harder to land your Q as you have to throw it really quickly after landing your Void Breach. Gideon's best combo for his ultimate ability is going to be using his E, his Torn Space, to reposition himself ideally above the enemies, like so. 
Now this puts you too high in the air for enemy melee characters to actually deal damage to you. So unless they have some sort of ranged ability, they're not going to be able to hit you and you're a lot safer. Because keep in mind, you are still very vulnerable while you're casting the ultimate. So by doing it in the air, you give yourself a little bit of safety. Another great move to do with your torn space, your E, is going to be for juking out enemies. And I'll show you how to do that just in a second here. So in Predecessor, there are a lot of high ledges like so. If you have an enemy chasing you and they're quite close behind you, or even if you turn a corner and you walk a little slower to let them get closer, what you can do to juke them out is to jump, turn around, and throw your torn space, and you'll end up above them. Try to line it up in such a way where you jump a little to the side. That way, they don't land in your portal accidentally and come after you anyway. Though, even if they do, they'll be slowed by 50% for 1.5 seconds because of that uh, teleport ability. So again, if you're being chased, they'll come, follow you off the ledge, you turn around, if you can actually line it up, unlike myself, you'll land back up on the ledge, and it'll be no problem to get away. Although I haven't had time to fully make a proper build guide for Gideon, you want to keep in mind that you're going to focus on building magic power. If I open my uh, shop here, so you're going to want to build magical power, you're going to want a good amount of mana so that you can sustain in the fight, and you're going to want ability haste. The ability haste is going to help you, obviously, cast your abilities faster, that's great, but it'll also allow you to keep that slow on your enemies for a larger duration of any team fights, because you'll be hitting them with your passive and with your um, right click a lot more often, refreshing that uh, slow cooldown a lot more often. Just to wrap things up, Gideon is best played as a mid laner. This means you are very vulnerable to ganks, but you also have a lot of roaming potential. Gideon's AoE burst damage abilities are fantastic for poking out your enemies and clearing minion waves with ease. In matchups where you don't think you can outpoke your enemy laner, use your abilities to instead hard push the wave and roam to either the duo or offlane to surprise your enemies and help your teammates secure some easy kills. Gideon's oppressive playstyle in mid makes him a great hero to secure the river buff giving him much more sustain in lane with the mana boost it provides. If the enemy jungler or mid laner tries to punish you for going after the river buff, you have your torn space ability to get out and get to that high ground much more easily. Now without further ado, let's hop right into some gameplay so you can actually see all of this in action. All right, we're gonna start with the Magician Crest. Uh, landing abilities and killing enemies evolves it. Uh, so that's gonna be what we're building towards. And then I'm probably gonna go Soul Bearer uh, but we'll see what other people end up leaning towards. And we'll take Spirit Beads right off the bat, get some additional damage. Going against another Gideon, so it's going to be a matter of who can kind of land the most abilities. So hopefully I outdo him in that regard. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Q. Oh, it's a gadget! Where'd Gideon go? This is, this is what a good mid lane does. Don't be a toxic mid lane and start attacking when they come to greet you like this. Be friendly. So I'm going to match her attacks. Uh, try and get the last hits at all possible. But this puts it a little bit more on my end of the court, which is great. I forget that that doesn't have... I have it on uh, fat quick cast, so that was my bad. I shouldn't have uh, thrown it like that. I'm also missing all my shots. Come on, land a slow. Thank you. Good lord, that took way too long. I don't mind taking that little bit of poke from the uh, minions. Oh shit, this is bad for me. I over aggressed. All right, I'm just gonna focus on minions. Oh shit. 
Ah, uh, that's my bad. My bad. I'm just gonna get the Codex for some extra mana. Um, I am playing too aggressive on this gadget. I need to play a little safer. I haven't actually played a uh, game against a gadget yet, so I kind of forgot what her abilities are. But uh, good to know there's that root involved. Yeah, that's such an easy ability for her to hit. That was a really bad ward, but it'll do. I don't want to take any more aggro that I need to here. I didn't know he was going to show up. If he went in, I would have TP'd in and uh, landed more abilities. Just gets out of that. No way. Need to be careful, I don't know where Grux is. But I do have Chimera, so I'm not too worried. My CSing is weak though. There he is. Unfortunately, couldn't do much. I'm um, kind of low on mana. And we do know he's over on that side, so I'm content to kind of stay over here. In fact, if I can get a river buff, that'd be fantastic. This gives me a big burst of mana and the uh, attack speed. Oh my god, hit the guy! Oh my god, that frickin' ability. No way anyone misses that ability that she has. Oh yeah, I have health potions. Got a little bit of a frame rate issue there. I got a bound blink to uh, my mouse button. Participation. I'm content. Now I can back happily. I'm just gonna run up here. I'm not too worried about getting ganked. Alright, I get a kill. I get an assist. Um, I'm keeping up with uh, minion kills too, so I'm really I, I'm doing quite well. Few things that I obviously need to uh, polish, but otherwise I'm doing fine. There. 
I'm uh, maxing out my Q first here. I think it's overall going to be my best uh, poke ability. Well, I know it is. And then uh, I'll focus on my right mouse button after that. I want to get some pressure over on right lane here. Oh, shit. I, you know, that overall wasn't great, but I managed to get some good stuff out of that. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. I am so bad. Oh my god. Managed to get out of that, just barely. And he kills Gadget, that's really good. Building into another spell breaker. Uh, into, into a spell breaker. It's gonna uh, do a good job of protecting me from the Decker. Managed to dodge her abilities there, so overall better trade in my favor. It's a good opportunity to use my uh, E ultimate combo, especially with the Decker around. Now Gideon's gonna come and try and kill me still. But I get him. I uh, dodged his uh, ability with my E, so he wasn't actually able to do anything to me. He was uh, about to try an ult there. Another thing about your ult is you do get a little bit of a bonus defense out of it. So in situations like that, he was on his last legs. He was just trying to basically survive a little bit longer. Um, realistically, it didn't do much for him except for put his ult on cooldown. But I uh, outplayed him pretty hard there. I will actually take a little bit of magic armor because this Gideon is really trying to uh, oppress me in my lane. And uh, against a Gideon and a Gadget, I'm going to want that a little bit of armor. Now, I am pretty clumsy with the uh, ping system still in this game. Um, it, is, it is a little bit uh, unintuitive, but I understand they're trying to make it uh, able to work on both keyboard and console. On uh, uh, controller, sorry. Because eventually they do want to port into console. There's such a big community uh, on console for this game, so I don't, I'm not going to go over to the Severog. With Gadget and Gideon over on the side lane there, I'm just going to... Oh shit, wrong ability. Uh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I meant to throw my uh, right click, but I accidentally hit E instead. That was awful on my part. I'm just gonna get out of here. There's no point. There's uh, at least two people. I'm guessing three. You gotta be careful of these. Uh, this uh, high ground spot here on the right. I was able to get some good poke on uh, Grux, which is really good. Ally 
These guys are trying to like basically duo me, which is really weird. But I think that's because they didn't really take a support. They're, they're, I guess Gideon's being the support in this scenario, but it really doesn't make any sense. Um, it's just a bad move overall. They're going to have very little CC when it comes to actual fights. Yeah, I missed all my abilities there. Oh man, couldn't reach him. I thought my blink would get me a little closer. To a point where I could actually uh, utilize the uh, right click to actually hit the, the Grux. But unfortunately it just didn't work out that way. Chimera, if she chases I can help Chimera, but otherwise I want river buff here. Oh man, it's not even up. I should have looked. It's on map. I need to pay attention to those. Severog's really pushing up left side. I should try and help out our uh, Severog over there. But I don't have mana, which is my concern. 50 seconds over there. Let me uh, stick one of those down. And I'll just rotate around here. I'm not going to waste my uh, mana on my E. There's no point. I'm not roaming as much as I'd like to here. Uh, the guy just kind of giving me a run for my money. And having that oppressive force by the Gideon all the time. Now... I'm gonna wait this eight seconds here. I'm going to tell them I am on my way. They can really go in here. How did that hit me? I am baffled. Unfortunate that we didn't get him. Lost my tower over that too. That wasn't worth it. I thought we'd be able to get him, but uh, we just didn't have any other CC. I had my slow, but that was like it. I don't know what Murdoch's doing. What are you- you brain dead, dude? I mean, I know it was low, but that was way too much damage to take. I don't want to let him die here. I'm just gonna go spend some cash. Uh, let's go for our Soul Bearer. And then let's get Spell Breaker. Um, I want a little bit more power and ability haste. So I'm going to build into this. I need to protect that tower though. We're losing the tower game uh, in mid here. This guy's dumb. I should have had him. I don't know what I was doing there.
That's a good kill. I want to go get the uh, river buff here. Oh, it's down. Damn. They want to attack Fangtooth. I'll go follow. That's a good call. Fangtooth, if you don't know, is actually really strong. Um, getting its fourth stage is actually like more important than getting a Prime, Prime Guardian. That's really good. Uh, let's get my R upgraded. And then we can, yeah, we can attack the right lane here. I like Decker's call. She seems to know what she's doing, so I'm happy following her. If we can get this Murdoch, that would be fantastic. I didn't even get the kill, that's upsetting. I'm 4, 2, and 4 though, so I'm content. Our uh, off lane is struggling though. We need to go help the solo lane out hard. Mid's doing fine, we're pushed up. It's gonna occupy Gadget for a bit. Um, right lane's doing all right as well. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. Anytime he uses his ult, he's just a really easy target. Which is why you need to watch out for cooldowns when you're uh, using your ult as um, Gideon. That's massive. That was a really good fight, and now we can push out la uh, lanes here. I'm out of mana though. <laughs> uh, river buffs are down to... I might just... honestly, I'll just back here. I'll back and then I'll just go back to probably top, or sorry, right uh, left lane here. Let's get that, because it's the more expensive one we can obtain. That'll be fine. Now Severog is going left, Chimera is going mid, I'll go left as well. I don't think they're able to get Prime Guardian yet. We're just going to want to watch for the next Fangtooth. That's going to be the most important, like, objective here. You can really, like, thread the needle on your basic decks. It's pretty impressive, actually. <clears throat> I'm at 132 CS. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I just want to kill these ranged minions. They deal the most damage. And then I'm gonna leave. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Audio is actually quite important in this game because you can hear when someone's in the jungle around you. Uh, so if you hear them attacking any sort of, uh, camps, it's really quite obvious. Enemy power under siege. I want to be here to help. Where was that? Where was he?
That was a really good engage by Decker. She's kind of like carrying most of our engages. That's upsetting. I wanted the mana regen. <clears throat> I'd like to take out Severo or uh, Murdoch here. And then I want to attack uh, Fangtooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Decker's, got, Decker's on the right track, too. We need to do this. Uh, but they're not going to come. There's three up here. If I had the river buff from uh, that Decker took earlier, I'd be able to ult, but I can't. An allied inhibitor is under attack. This is bad because they're getting the uh, left lane damage. And we're kind of wasting time over here. I'm just going to back and deal with left lane. Uh, let's get our full, and then we can start towards Oblivion Crown. But I can't let this, uh, die here. I can't believe I missed that. Okay, we got mid and hib. That's actually really good. We can make some really good progress here. If uh, we're smart about it. I just want this blue buff for the uh, mana. Enemy core is under attack, so if Gideon doesn't back and help out, they're fucked, and I'm five levels ahead of him. I out-damage him, no problem. Not even a concern, honestly. Burst of health from this guy would be pretty good. You can kite camps pretty well as a ranged um, hero. So managed to get some health off of that. I will TP up here. Destroy some minions. This is going to be a huge wave to crash. Get this uh, tower for sure. I have my TP and my blink, so I'm not really concerned about getting ganked. They're also pushing up mid really well. This is just a good split push. Almost out of minions. I think I get this anyway. Yeah, that's fantastic. We're kind of uh, dividing up our energy here, which is really good. Did we get uh, Fangtooth? We're on it right now. I need to go help. This could be bad if I don't go help. It's only Murdoch there, so they get him. There's four of them dead. Severog's uh, left lane. I'm just going to push up and uh, deal some core damage here. Actually, uh, Fangtooth, and then I'd like to get Prime. I 
I don't. I wish I could see a Fangtooth's health when they're on it. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of attacking right lane. This is smart. This is going to be a good little uh, attack here. They just have so much to worry about right now that uh, they can't really go anywhere. I have more CS than our uh, Murdoch does. Oh my god, his range is massive. I need to play on the outside of the lane, I don't want to get engaged on early. We need to protect our mid lane here. Oh, Decker! get full oblivion. That'll be really good. Uh, G, oblivion crown, uh, magic power, ability haste, magic power and physical armor. Maybe take physical damage from an enemy hero. Combustion. Yeah, let's go for the combustion, I think. Uh, we'll do a little bit of Spear Blade, just for now. I'm not using my Crest, I always forget. I need to get better at that. So for all those watching from home, make sure you get yourself a Crest. And actually frickin' use it. I missed. I'm a, I'm a god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Massive. Oh. I keep trying to cancel with right click, but that's obviously not the cancel button. Oh, okay, cool. Infinite range. I already have my R off cooldown. That's insane, actually. I want to actually see next time I use my R what the cooldown is like. Push mid out, and then we get the uh, minions in. We'll be good to go. Uh, 
Okay, Chimera's going in. I wouldn't want to go in on a Murdoch myself. Out of mana. She's doing so much work, but I can't help without mana. And in fact, let me get mana. That was bad. That was bad on my part. I thought uh, we were going to go back in with the Murdoch, and then I'd have ulted, and uh, he'd be able to just kind of freely f fire at them while they're slow. Obviously, that did not come to fruition, but that's fine. Uh, let's get... Uh, we'll just wait for combustion. It's almost up. I've still got 40 seconds of uh, respawn time, so I'll have no problem getting combustion by then. Our decker has been doing really well. Uh, 19 assists, That's that's really good. She's got a lot of uh, participation. The enemy Murdoch is a little bit uh, intimidating, admittedly. But otherwise, I don't think they have like enough damage to really be an issue. So I'm pretty close, or pretty much full build here. Uh, I can switch things out for, like, anti-disruption, anti-burst, anti-heal, that kind of thing. But I really don't think it's going to be an issue. I think straight damage is going to be a good answer. I used the wrong jump pad. This might be... I don't mind taking a little bit of the damage here. Alright, that's Orb Prime. Chimera shouldn't have had to die for that, but... Oh, I went the wrong way. We can destroy Severog here. Yeah, he's gonna get away, that's good. Well, he's gonna run away and that part's good, but... managed to get out, which is good. We should have gotten more kills over there. But they're, they're a bit distracted and their core is getting shredded. Look at it dropping so fast just for minions. I was supposed to be backing. Alright, GG. That's the game. Thank you very much uh, for watching. If you guys want to see more character guides in the future, let me know who you want to see down below. Without further ado, have a lovely rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon, and night. Uh, bye bye